Hi, this is Tiff Shuttlesworth, president of North Point Bible College and Seminary, and I'm sitting before you once again. Each week, I want to come to you and begin to build a communication to let you know exactly where we're at in vision video and updates, and uh, we've had some uh, real battles in recent days, and we've had some wonderful news. Uh, let me share just a little bit of the good news uh, when I first became president, I had worked in the office one night till a little after 11 o'clock, and uh, as I left the office, I walked out onto the campus, and as I was walking the campus to pray just a little bit before I went to bed that night, many of you that are graduates of Zion will remember a man by the name of Brother Johnson. Brother Johnson was a man who God miraculously saved. He had been an alcoholic and was gloriously converted. And hearing Sister Gibson's vision, and in particular out of Psalm 48, that one piece of Psalm 48 that says beautiful for situation, God spoke to his heart and that man gave the remainder of his life to beautifying the campus at 846 Broadway in East Providence, Rhode Island. And I was a beneficiary of that, not only as a student, but I remember as a young boy going to that campus when my father would preach, and uh, the grounds were immaculate. It looked like a golf course. And he took great pride in the care and the grass and the trimming and flowers, etc. As a matter of fact, my brother Tim and I coming back, I believe it was after a Thanksgiving break upon walking to the courtyard and headed to the dormitory, they were carrying Brother Johnson down out of his room. He had passed away that very day. And that night when I was walking at our current campus in Haverhill, Massachusetts, I prayed a prayer kind of like this. I said, Father, I remember how you spoke to Brother Johnson and called him to beautify that campus. Would you do the same here in Haverhill with this incredible property that you have blessed us with? And I ask the Lord that under my direction as president that our campus might reflect the spirit of excellence that the school has always had right down to the keeping of the grounds. And I have vision and dream for that property that I'll not share in the video. But this week we received a call from Home Depot. And Home Depot is in the process of adopting our campus. And so we'll be communicating with them but it looks as if they're not only going to adopt our campus, but the work that they'll do on our campus and our lawn and our trees, etc., will be done at no charge to the school. And in this vision video, that might be a small story to many of you that are listening, but to me, it continues to be evidence of the fact that God is answering our prayers, that God is showing himself to still be the God of the original vision. And it is my full intent to honor that original vision. Pray for me. There are so many things that uh, I'll not bore you with, but there are battles every day that I wake up as we are approaching uh, the opening of the school year. We're still asking God to help us to deal with some very serious debt. And as I often say in these vision videos, will you pray? One of the ways that you can help, you may not be a person of wealth or substance, and you yourself are, are facing your own dilemmas, which I appreciate. But as Christians, we have been taught in the scripture, give and it shall be given unto you. What you make happen for others, God will make happen for you. And I am confident that the soil of this sacred vision that's almost 100 years old is still good soil. Would you pray about becoming a monthly partner? One of my prayers, is that the graduates of Zion, the graduates of North Point, the entire family and friends of this institution, that God would help me to rally together a team, a large team of people who just on a regular basis in their monthly commitments sow a seed to North Point Bible College and Seminary. So I'm asking you, I need your help. I cannot do this by myself. Only God can bring us through, and God uses people just like you and I. And Judy and I, we're making that sacrifice as well, and we'll give largely and happy to do so. But let me just ask one more thing. From week to week, maybe there's someone who will be watching this video, maybe a graduate of the school, a friend of the school, or maybe just stumbled across the video. 
If God has blessed you in a significant way, I want to eliminate some significant problems and bring this school back to a place of both faith and flourishing. Would you pray about sowing a significant gift? You can either contact me personally as the president of North Point or you can go to northpoint.edu and you can make your contribution there. Pray for the school. Again, we're just a handful of days from our freshmen coming on campus as of yesterday. The report shows 169 incoming students for the fall in various capacities. Pray for our students. Above all, we're asking God to give us a spiritual awakening and fresh fire on that campus. And we covet your prayers and we thank you for your generous support. Until our next video, bye for now and thank you again.